Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on clinical SAS Adam programming. In this video, we will see a very basic example of creation of criteria flag in Adam BDS datasets. So we will be taking a look at an example wherein we are looking for creation of a criteria variable for a single parameter and the criteria is based on eval which is analysis result and criteria populating variables only on the records where conditions are met. So there are different ways of implementing the criteria flags in Adam standard. So we will see one of the approaches wherein one of the approaches actually to populate the criteria and the criteria flag only on the records where the criteria is met. So we will see the specification and then we'll understand this a little better. So we have the crit one, so which says analysis criterion one. So it says set to systolic pressure greater than 160 on the records where param CD is equal to SysBP and eval greater than 160. So we are creating the criteria as systolic pressure greater than 160 on the records where param CD is equal to systolic bed pressure and eval is greater than 160 and crit1 fl so it's a set to y on the records where crit1 is not null so one of the approaches of populating criteria flags and criterion variables is to populate only the populate both crit1 and crit1 fl only on the records where criteria is met the one other approach is to populate criteria on all the records of the parameter but populate it as y or n in crit1 fl populate as y when it is meeting the condition. If it is not meeting the condition, we will be asked to populate as n. So both of the approaches are valid. So but here in this basic example, we are populating it only on the records where the condition is met. We will see how to implement this. So this will be a very simple code. So here I'm creating a temporary data set called VS01 by reading VS data, VS data set. And here I'm actually doing the creation of crit1 fl and crit1 so here we have our vital signs data we have data for one subject uh, for systolic blood pressure and diastolic blood pressure and then we have analysis visit adt ady eval trtsd etc so here we were asked to create the crit1 for systolic blood pressure and then we were asked to populate crit1 as systolic pressure greater than 160 when the analysis result is greater than 160 on that specific record and parameter. So how are we doing that here? So for param n is 1 on the records where systolic blood pressure is equal to, uh, param CD is equal to systolic blood pressure. So I'm checking if the parameter corresponds to systolic blood pressure by checking for the param n. So if param n is equal to 1, then do. So if eval is greater than 160, then crit 1 fl is y. And on the crit one, I am assigning the text systolic pressure greater than 160. So this way, when on these records, on um, when these two variables are populated, it indicates that the criteria has been met for systolic pressure being greater than 160. So let us take a look at VS02 data set and see if there are any records which are meeting the criteria. So we have two records which are meeting the criteria. So one has a result of 175 here and the second record has a result of 172. Both of them are greater than 160. So both crit1 FL has, was, is supposed to be Y and crit1 was supposed to be systolic pressure greater than 160. So we are populating crit1 and crit1 FL on the records where the condition is met. So this is one example of creating criteria flags. So we have seen it in terms of an example using vital signs. Thank you for watching and keep learning.